shall we just ignore my like orange nose <sighs> yes please i like put some like tanning drops in my moisturizer last night and this always happens to me on my nose anyway hey back in the chair doing some makeup today which i'm happy about it's been a while i stopped doing it for a while because i was like overloading on makeup and now it's actually got to the point where I haven't done makeup in the longest time. And I've kind of like fallen back in love, can you tell, with like baby pink, like the blue tone pink cheeks, but kind of like doing my own version of it. I feel like the blue tone pink theme makeup was very like all matte. I still like mine to be like quite glowy. So that's what we're gonna do today. And today I'm actually going to London with my girlfriends and we're just going for a, a roast in Wimbledon, my friend Lucy's kind of like arranged it and planned it all for us. I feel like you always need someone like that in the group and usually it's me, but when it comes to things in London, that's very much Lucy's territory. So yeah, I kind of want to feel like girly and pretty and this makeup always like, I feel my prettiest and girliest with like soft pink, baby pink cheeks, minimal on the eyes. Yeah, kind of just like a skin focus. By the way, this top is from ASOS. So cute. If it's still in stock, I will link it down below. But just thought also this could be fun to have like a girly catch up to. Let you know what's been going on with me. Got my iced coffee. Now, do I want to risk this? I've seen this girl on TikTok. I can't remember her name for the life of me. Like she just, it was just a video that came up, but it's like stuck with me because her makeup looked amazing. She puts oil on her face like before makeup. And I was like reading through the comments and she said like, she just loves the way that makeup applies with a little bit of oil, like, but is today the day to try this out? I just say into the skin in the morning and stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna do a couple of drops. We went in with the road and now let's just do, like I've literally done the tiniest of tiniest of drops. Um. Oh, it feels nice. Um, I got a facial the other day and the way that my makeup applies now is insane. Like, it's at my friend Lauren Elizabeth Beauty, her salon in Woking. If you guys live in Surrey, I 100% recommend her salon. It is so good, they do everything. She's got laser hair removal there, which I think I'm gonna like start. If anyone's done laser hair removal, let me know how you got on with it. But I saw some like before and after pictures and I was like, that is what I need. I just like don't even want to think about, by the way, you guys, if there's anything that's like majorly worth shouting about, I'll shout about it. If not, I've left everything that I'm using linked and listed down below before you ask, it's there. I feel like I just want to like chat, you know? I'm gonna put primer on onto that oil just because, I don't know, I'm scared. But yeah, you can kind of like customize your facials there um and i got like a hydro facial different from the hydro because we weren't using that specific machine but like a very hydrating like resurfacing skin plumping facial deep cleansing which is like kind of what i mainly wanted to focus on i've had such a busy like last few weeks just wearing like loads of makeup and as someone that naturally was born and very lucky to be born with like quite clear skin you can see like i'd been like having breakouts and that is when i know i am like not taking care of my skin the way that i should so i just needed her to suck all the shit out of my nose and just like around my face like blackheads and stuff because i could see it i could see it in there i just like don't have the facilities to do it myself and I also included dermaplaning, which gets like the peach fuzz like off your skin. And I feel like it's the combination of it all has just made my skin, well, no, sorry, made the makeup apply on my skin like an absolute dream. So if any of you guys wanted to go in, she very kindly actually said, oh, well, you know, if you want to shout about it on your um, socials, why don't you say like anyone that quotes like Rachel or something can get your treatment and get like 40 pounds off. Cause it's normally um, like 140, which it depends. If you're into like your skincare and stuff and like facials and 
all of that. I got the hydrofacial, dermaplaning, and I got some oxygen therapy, which goes like under your eyes. And it just like gives you brand new under eyes. Like it was so good. Um, that's what like added it up to 140. And that's pretty good for like a high quality facial, but like these things aren't cheap. I'm not saying that they are, but you don't, well, unless you're mega rich, but like, yeah, I, do, I don't get these often. So it really is like a treat. So to get like 40 pounds off and get all of that for a hundred, I thought that was a really great like gift and incentive. So like I said, if you guys are in the area and want to try, then there's a little incentive for you to go and get 40 pounds off. You just quote Rachel. Yeah, like I said, been a busy couple of weeks. I'm mixing MAC face and body with the MAC strobe tint, dewy strobe tint. I'm going like dewy pretty vibes today. And I've not ever done this combination before. But I think it's because I've been like going out, going on like dates and stuff that I was wearing like maybe a bit more of a heavier foundation than I normally would. Cause I just want like my makeup to last and stuff and that's probably what was causing my skin to break out and it made me realize like I miss the light the slightly lighter coverage when it comes to my skin look at it look at it but yeah guys I have a dating question for you and I'm not saying that this is the predicament that I'm in right now but I was just like thinking about it okay and it's probably gonna sound like really weird, but I'm so new to dating and you're probably thinking like, what? But like, I, I don't go on dates. I really don't, I never really have, I've never like had like a really serious boyfriend, like nothing like that. So I kind of like, it is still all really new to me. And I'm still not even sure that that's what like I want to do. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, like, so when it comes to dating, how do you know when you've like had a good date? And I'm speaking to anyone really, but kind of like my girlies that are really bubbly and talkative. And yeah, basically you can have a good time with anyone like because you're super chatty and you know, a good time. Like, so how do you know that you've had a good date and it just wasn't like, not like you enjoying your own company, but do you know what I'm trying to say? And the fact that maybe I might even ask them that question would like sort of maybe answer it for me in the sense of like, you would just know it was because of the person that you were with. But then how do you get past that and like push past that? Or is that just a sign that you're on a date with the wrong person? Like, just like, how do you know? And I'm not saying this to sound like stupid. And like I said, I'm not saying this because that's the situation that I'm in. But I was just out um, for drinks with one of my friends. And we were just talking about that as just like a general thing of being like, yeah, what like separates like a great date because it was the person that you were with rather than it just being like, I don't know, besides like, probably kissing at the end like it being like a really like amazing romantic or like spark filled date because of it was the person that you were with like how do you know i feel like i need a dating guide for dummies or something also i used the elf halo glow in like a dark shade it's like my cream bronzer on days where I just want it to look a bit more like natural and glowy and blended but then I'll go in with my um sculpt stick just to give more of like a cheekbone vibe and also I wanna know from you guys as well, what are your like, mm, like top three 
traits that you look for whilst dating as well. Because I think the more dates I go on, the more I realise like it kind of changes. And then it's like, well, obviously, Rachel, that's the whole point of dating. And this is how you find out. Like, it's so common and easy to be like, I need this, this and this from someone. And then you go on a date, you get that, that and that from someone, but then you realise, oh no, they don't have that and that. Your reason, I, your, you realise that's actually a really important trait that I've realised I need that. I think for me, it's got to be funny. It's got to be confident. But then, it, then there's got to be something that would differentiate you from just like being my friend to like me wanting you to be my boyfriend like there's got to be something but i don't know what that something is and that's what i'm like trying to figure out because yeah like you can go out and have a good time with someone and it's really just like your mates at the end of the day there's got to be that something you know, I feel like I'm just thinking out loud, but I feel like we're having like a girl time here. Um, and this is the conversations that I was having with my friend the other night, we were just like talking about dating and what it is that we need from our dates in order for them to feel like, okay, take me off the map, honey. Like this is the one. Cause if it's not there, then I feel like you just want to play the field and just go out and date like everyone and have good times with everyone. Am I making sense or am I just chatting absolute shit? Anyway, just going back with my brush to make sure this is all blended. Going back to the baby pink vibes, I am mixing blush in Sweet Cheeks and Strawberry Cream on the back of my hand. Just kind of like a swipe of that. And I think two swipes of Strawberry Cream, just cause I really am in the baby pink era. And normally I've been doing my cream blush like after powder. But I've kind of, kind of fallen back in love with doing it before. And oh my God, after getting that facial, the way that my makeup applies on my nose, so much better. I really haven't realized how like well, actually I had, it was one of the reasons why I wanted to get the facial because normally my makeup applies fine, like everywhere. And it just like wasn't applying to my nose or it would just like come off and I just have a feeling it was to do with like my pores and stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna go set myself with Laura and I'll be right back. And some things never change. I really think I need to get like ginger biscuit as like a, <laughs> a solo pan. Do they, does Mitchell do that? Because I need it. Because I use it as an eyeshadow, my bronzer. It really just is the like, softest medium brown. Why am I, why am I getting like sounds for Instagram notifications? Like, That's weird. And then I go in with, uh, whoa, caramel cup as just like a little contour. But yeah, circling back to dating and stuff. I know I said like, oh, if it feels like that with someone then this is why you should just like date loads of people like if you can just like have a good time with loads of people and did I even did I even say that or did I think that and I just didn't say it out loud 
Suddenly not sure. Anyway, what I was trying to say was that, but then I also can't do that. I don't know how people date and like invest their time into like more than one person at one time. I'm so, I don't know, I just, I can't do that. I just gotta be focused on like one person and that's that. But then that is why I see like, why people complain because when you do that and you get your hopes up or like whatever and then it just doesn't work out it's like oh god like i just invested my time into one person and it was a waste god do you know what i was actually also saying to my friend the other day is that i'm not even opposed to the idea at this stage maybe in like a few years time of like an arranged marriage like i actually just need someone to pick for me and if I can have a good time with everyone and anyone and as long as they're just like a nice person they're funny and they're good looking and obviously like got good morals and stuff I trust other people's judgments probably a lot more than my own <laughs> sometimes but when it comes to like boys pick someone just pick someone for me and I'll be fine this is the key by the way this is the ultimate blue pink blush and it's from pretty little thing can you believe it their makeup line um it's in the shade color changing i don't know why because it's not it's just the softest baby's pink and i kind of like focus this like under my eye and on my cheek and then i will go in with Time to get my blush book out. And I'll take a little bit of milkshake. And Thrill Joy, a little peachy shade. And kind of like put that more on the apple. Can you see that? So it just kind of diffuses into something a bit brighter and a little bit less pale on my cheeks that's the word oh i just i love it so much right i'm gonna do my brows i've really been loving the hourglass brow what is it it's the brow sculpt i've always been a micro brow pencil girly and then having a sculpt just makes it so easier to just kind of give you like the base fill and then i go in with um, more of a micro pencil to just kind of like feather up the front and do the tail but it's going to involve me having a mirror like this so I'll be right back but the colour of this is warm brunette and I use 3.75 through the front so everyone does their brows differently but these two allow me to go from this to like this and then I just set them in place with the Benefit 24 hour brow set okay for eyeshadow, I'm so boring, but I feel like at the moment I've been really loving creating and customizing my own like individual lashes. I kind of like like the way that that looks. Where's my mirror? Here. So in terms of eyeshadow, I just take Ginger Biscuit like all over. Cause like I said, it's just like the softest neutral brown. Kind of take it all over pretty much. Like that. And you could just leave it there, but I am liking having a slightly brighter, like inner corner colour. And like inner lid shade as well. But genuinely, I just put that shade like all over my eye. Easy fucking peasy. And then I was going through my makeup collection. I had like a big clear out not that long ago. So much of my stuff had expired. It was disgusting. Disgusting. Um, forgot that I had this palette from Patrick Tarte and this <sighs> color here is like such a nice cream shadow and it's got the most gorgeous like subtle sparkle. I love eyeshadows like this. Um, so I'm just gonna 
kind of focus this on my inner corner, but then like take it up a little bit on my eye. Just to like brighten it up. A really like subtle shimmer. It's gorgeous. The palette itself is gorgeous as well, but like that specific shade, I love just for something girly and pretty. So literally just like that. And then I might just take the brown from the shadow palette, the Patrick Tar one, smaller fluffy brush, just a tiny bit of depth. And like, See, I'm like, it just, I'm not really like creating a wing with it. I'm trying to think like, do I want to do a little smoky wing or not? Do I just keep it soft? I feel like I'll do a little wing. But that's literally it for eyeshadow. Honestly, is this going to be like the quickest video ever? But this genuinely is... Stop, everything's falling. It's the vibes these days. On my date, like the other day, I'm pretty sure he asked like, how long does it take like to do my makeup? And I was like, do you know what? Really not a long time. I can whack out like a beat. Pretty fucking quickly. I'm just used to my, my own face. But also I'm gonna take, oh my God, I'm so upset. My favorite like highlighter slash eyeshadow from NARS that's called like Orgasm. I fucking, I dropped it. So now I'm just very sparing with it. On my nose, where else do I like to put this? I've got like a different highlighter that I've been loving at the moment, which is kind of like an oldie, but like a goodie. I was gonna go in with a bit of cream. Maybe I will do that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm. Yep, yeah, pink. Do you just go straight on or is it better to go on with your hand? <gasps> Have I just ruined everything? Oh my God. Oh, that's fine. And that's pretty. I just want that like baby pink, but like glass looking skin, you know? I feel like what's gonna really tie it all together is the Magical Fixing Spray. to merge it all. Okay, I think I am gonna do a smoky wing. Sorry, I was just letting that like dry on my face. I'm just gonna take Golden Gal, which actually has a little bit of a shimmer in it, but I'm not mad at it, from the Made by Mitchell bronze book. And just create something really soft. Like that, that's pretty. Why have I never used that before? Guys, that is so nice. Oh my God. And the fact that that has just like worked out the first time. Today's gonna be a good day. I deserve a glass of reds for that. God, I'm so excited for this roast. I'm not even joking. I did nothing last night. Saturday night, stayed in, rested up, feeling good today. I kind of love a bit of a Sunday vibe. Um, sometimes Saturday is just a bit crazy. But I did go out on Friday night with my friend Tess and I told you like, that's just where we're kind of having all of these like discussions. And it was just like such a fun 
girls night she's honestly so much fun anyway but we're just on like the same wavelength and like page about things and just so just down to have like a good time and oh my god the funniest thing happened it was kind of like approaching the end of the night ish and this guy came over to us and was like i do you want to come and sit with me and my friends and we were like looking at each other bearing in mind we didn't it was quite obvious that he wasn't either of our types really and neither were the other two that they were sat with but you know when they, it's just like I knew the kind of vibe it was going to be and it was just going to be funny like we were just going to have banter with them and just a laugh and I feel like we were at that point in the night where like that we could do that like that sounds fun so we did and like each one of them was just like such a character like sorry I'm picking the glow off my lash like I can't explain it like one guy was just like so cocky and arrogant but like so posh at the same time so kind of funny and he kept sort of like was one of those people that I feel like would insult you to try and like make himself feel superior but then would be like i love you and we would be like okay <laughs> and he was like quite short as well like tell me why we ended up in the toilet giving him piggybacks <laughs> like that's the kind of vibe that it was we had like such a good time and yeah i feel like we drank like a lot but in like a quite like a civilized way like we started the night off with prosecco and I was like, oh, so do you do this test? Like, if you were like on a date, would you get yourself like a glass of Prosecco? She's like, yeah. I was like, I'm taking, I'm noting that because I feel like that's quite like a nice way to start. And then moving on to margaritas, obviously. Like, oh, it was just, it was exactly what the doctors ordered. It was a girl's night like that. Right, I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm wearing the middle pair of the Ekinsu strip lash um, from this set. But like... Because I keep wasting these two, that's where, like I said before, like I love to cut them up and create lashes. So I'll put these on and see if they need anything extra. But I have been really loving, and I used to do this back in the day at MAC, like customizing my own strip lashes. So let's put these on and we'll see if it needs anything extra. Did I even do anything in this clip? I feel like I just picked off lash glue and was chatting shit. Now, do you know what? I feel like these are the perfect little lashes and now i feel like it's all in the lip and i am loving where is it i actually like this is the makeup that i had in the tiktok that i did where i did my favorite like nudie baby pinky lip combo so let's do that shall we if you've watched it you already know what's coming nyx nude truffle lip liner so good it's always out of stock these days though People caught on to the bandwagon. Actually, I'm so gonna mix this up today and I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that and something else. Oh my God, I'm so excited for the lip peptide that Hailey B was coming out with for her birthday you've not seen it it's like baby pink and sparkly like I need it and if I don't get it I'll be so upset a lot of this lip is gonna come from like blending like the majority of my lip is this lip liner I take a little bit of foxy brown from Charlotte Tilbury And just kind of focus it on the top and bottom now i'm going to take the tiniest bit because this is actually like really pale of soft silk from made by mitchell that is it like look how pale it is and just can you get focused in the middle and just kind of tuck it out like that then i'm going in with my it's called ribbon ribbon lip peptide yeah from road wow this needs a clean 
Yep. That is what I fucking wanted. Oh my God. That is exactly the lip that like I wanted today. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've literally just done that TikTok saying that, that this is my favorite nude lip combo. Th this is, this is it. This is it. But anyway, this is the glam. Okay, you guys, these are the vibes for today i'm feeling pretty i love this hair as well i just curled tossled i love the word tossle and i hadn't realized that people don't know the word tossle like tossled right is this is tossled hair anyway i really hope you guys love this glam so quick so easy i've left everything listed and linked down below thanks for being my little facetime with my bestie vibes chat about like dating and girly things and you know all of that good stuff i am now off to go out and stuff me foot in face in a not so girly manner but with my girls um in a roast in london i'm sure i'll post about it on instagram so save the location if it's good because you guys ask me for recommendations on these things all of the time but yeah this is the glam i love it and now I'm feeling great for the day. Don't you just love it when that happens? Makeup really, like any problems I have, I will just sit down and do my makeup first. And if I don't immediately feel better, then okay, I'll get some proper advice and help. But makeup normally fixes it. Normally fixes it. Anyway, love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.